WTFNN. Headline news update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman, Tiger Technicians Hour. My pleasure to be here. This is the TFNN noon update. I'm the host of the Tiger Technicians Hour, coming up straight after this update. What we're looking at is the Dow is up 93 at 26,272. So it's up 0.36. Actually, the S&P is up more. The others are up more. Uh, Dow, the Dow has a couple of stocks that are lagging some, but this is very good action so far. And what we're looking at is resistance will be in the 26, uh, 320s today. And support, we've already tested support if it pulls back again. 2620 to 2600, 26200 will be support. S&P is at this particular moment up uh, 16 at 2883. It's broken out. The upside looks quite good. Uh, the MACD is good. Stochastic, you see on the left. On the right side, let's just get rid of this over here. On the right side, we're in leg C in the weekly chart. And this is suggesting that the 2883 uh, level right now is get, probably going to reach some kind of resistance in the 2885 to 2889 area. But once it hits 2900, uh, that all time high of 2940 becomes um, active. In the meantime, I think there's a little bit of a struggle going on. If you look at the QQQ, uh, so the S&P is up 0.55. S&P is up 1.11. So we can see that the uh, the index 100 with Amazon and all the, the big bank stocks, uh, this is really important. And this is really a breakout. There's now an egg C in the daily chart. Very strong. 184.77 up 2.04. The 185 should become some kind of resistance area shorter term. 182 is now very good support. And we've got the IWM, which is the Russell 2000, finally picking up. It's up 0.82 cents uh, percent, 1.28 at 155.64. Still lagging the others. This isn't even close to the recent high of April of March the 19th at 156.53. So we're going to be watching that closely. Gold. Uh, turned around a little bit. It well, was up. Now it's turned back down. And the dollar is really, uh, the dollar at this point is trading down 19 cents, but it is up in the higher ranges. It looks like it wants to test the 97.60s sometime, maybe this week, Thursday or Friday. I'll be back for my show straight after this. We'll look at wheat and other things and look at the commodities when we get back and crude oil. Have a great day. Otherwise, I'd like to see you back in a few minutes. <laughs>